Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago I installed the headlight fairing and the front engine cover on my bike and I really really like how it looks. So today I'm installing this Arma Speed belly pan on my BMW R9T for better aerodynamics, looks and engine protection. Let's take a closer look. Alright guys, so this is the part itself and this is aluminum alloy so it's definitely not going to add a lot of weight to your bike or anything like that. It comes with this bracket pre-attached but we're going to have to take it off before we put it on the bike. We're going to put the bracket on the bike first and then, well, using this hardware that comes included. And then, of course, attach the actual belly pen to the bracket. The awesome thing is that the way this is designed, you can easily just take off these four bolts to take off the belly pen and leave the bracket on uh, to change your oil and not have to remove everything from the bike. So that's pretty cool and should be pretty easy to install and uninstall. Let's take a quick look at the instructions. So this is what comes with the part. As you can see, it's pretty decently described. So it tells you uh, about which bolts are being used where. It shows you which um, holes you're gonna use on the bottom of your engine. This engine already has the holes ready to go uh, with the threads and everything, because obviously this engine is used on many other bikes as well. And it gives you a little bit more information which screws go where. On the other side, some just warranty information, so you do get warranty with this. And some of the part numbers that uh, have already been assembled on your belly pan. Alright, so that's about it for instructions. As far as the tools, you will need a 4mm hex socket and a 5mm hex socket. So basically a 4 and a 5. Some kind of ratchet to put it on, or one of these impact wrenches, whatever works for you. And that's about it, it should be as easy as that. First, I'm going to take off the bracket off the belly pan. All right, guys, so now we are actually under the bike, under the engine. So this is the oil pan right here, and this is the bracket. So I'm just going to put it up just like that, and here is where it goes. So you have the holes for the included hardware. There's one here, one there, one there, and there's one somewhere over there that I can't see at the moment from this side, but you can see where that leg is going. All right, now I'm going to take the smallest of the four bolts, and then I have arranged the hardware just like that. We have the washer on top. We have the locking washer closest to the head of the bolt and we're just going to put it in by hand first. So that was the 4mm hex socket head bolt and on these bigger 5mm ones I have the same arrangement. And I'm just going to do the same thing, just go in by hand, just like that. And we're going to repeat on the other side, get all four bolts in. So of course you want to make it pretty tight. You don't want to strip anything, but tight enough to where it's not going to come off. And I'm just going to go across first. All right, that's plenty tight. Perfect. And the last one right here. With the bracket attached, now we're going to put up the belly pan. So this may be a little bit more difficult to see, but it's exactly the same process, so I'm just going to locate the hole on the threads, on the bracket, get it in by hand, there it is. I'm going to make it just hand tight so I can find the other ones, and this will hold it up for me. Okay, get the second bolt, find the location. And just like that, we are done. So there you have it, guys, the final result. This belly pan was very easy to install, and I like the protection it offers to the bottom of my engine. I also think it looks great without subtracting anything from the looks of the bike. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the new look, together with the headlight fairing and the front engine cover. Other than riding, what should I do next? Let me know in the comments down below, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.